Hey guys, Eric Kyle here, publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine. I'm excited to be down at the Miami International Boat Show. Wow, what an event. This is a fantastic time. Beautiful boats, fantastic people, and we're standing right now inside of the convention center. I'm looking around for some new and innovative, kind of creative products for us to learn about up in the Great Lakes area, and boy did I find one. I'm standing here with Pierre. He's with a company called Hybrid Electric Propulsion. This is something we really need to learn about up in the Great Lakes area, especially if we want to be green friendly. So I'm going to turn you over to Pierre and have him tell you guys a little bit more about hybrid electric propulsion and what it is they have to offer. Okay, Pierre, how are you doing today, sir? Very well. Good. Enjoying the show so far? It's been a very interesting show this year. Good, good, good. Can you tell me a little bit more about this incredible engine you've got here and what it is it does? Well, for the last few years, we've been concentrating a lot on hybrid systems for larger vessels, uh, you know, 60, 70, 80 foot. And we were approached by some manufacturers that wanted a solution for the outboard motors. So we decided to apply some of the technology that we developed in cooperation with uh, UQM Technologies in Colorado that develops the electric bus motors in cars uh, to do one for the uh, outboard market. And this is what we see here, which is a 180 horsepower, uh, 400 pounds uh, outboard motor. This is 180 horsepower? It is. Oh my goodness, that can go on, what, what size boat would that typically go on? Well, the smallest that we've done so far is about 18 feet, I believe, up to about 26, 27. But we do have a spread, we can go down to about 100 horsepower for the smaller vessels, and up to about 300 horsepower with that new motor that we just received a few days ago. Yeah. So that will be uh, probably running in an outboard within a couple of months. Perfect, now tell me, Obviously, price is always a concern when you come across green products. Well, how much is this in comparison to a regular gas engine? It's about 30% more. Okay. Uh, more, and it's yes, the price of technology is still high. The uh, electronics, the safety systems, and of course the battery, the lithium-ion batteries are still pricey. But uh, the prices are dropping fast, and as we also expect the price of fuel to keep going up, at one point it should cross over. Oh, absolutely. And what kind of a charge, how long will this charge last on the engine if you're just going to go out for an afternoon? Well, typical cruising speed of about uh, on the plane, 15, 20 knots, maybe an hour to two hours, depending on the battery size, are the equivalent for water ski operators, which can do water ski between an hour and two hours uh, quite easily with a battery pack. Coming back to shore, depending on the dock power you have, a typical outlet in the U.S. would be 240 volts, uh, 50 amps, with an hour to recharge a battery fully in about three hours. In three hours, you can recharge it and go back out and have some more fun. Yes, or if you happen to have a beer commercial operators and running a three-phase uh, shore power, you could probably do it in less than half an hour. Oh, that is fantastic. Now, is this product readily available to the market already? Yes, it is. We're mainly going to manufacturers that want to incorporate it into their lines of vessels. But yes, it is possible to get it directly. The same issue would be the consumption of the batteries, which is already complex. Perfect. Now, if I wanted to find out more about the product, or perhaps even where to go to buy one, where do I go, Pierre, to find out that information? Uh, the best place would be to start with the web, of course, at uh, regenmanic.com. We're based here in Florida and Fort Lauderdale. That's where the company is, uh, does all of the engineering work. And uh, that would be probably a good place to start. Perfect. So tell me a little bit about the history or the genesis of this product. Where did it come about? How did you guys think of this? Well, like I said, we started several years ago basically in the uh, sailboat market and the big powerboat markets. We converted the two trawlers and then uh, by interest from the manufacturers. You know, that's basically how the onboard uh, came up on, on our scopes. Okay. Now there are a couple other um, engines that are out there that are also electric, but this is the biggest one I've ever seen. This is by far the biggest electric outboard I've ever seen. Did you guys plan on making larger models, smaller models? Uh, yes, we would like to go smaller. A lot of requests for smaller, but technology price is still high, uh, so it becomes a question of margins then. But uh, for the bigger, yes, like I said, we plan to uh, have a 300 horsepower onboard operational within a couple of months. Outstanding. So again, the website for this product so we can find out more is what again? It's regenotic, R-E-G-N-N-E-U-T-I-C.com. Outstanding. Pierre, anything else that you want to tell our Great Lakes boaters about the product? Well, uh, just peace and enjoy the weather. <laughs> no water. Outstanding, my man. Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the show. We'll see you out on the water. Thank you.